What's good? It's Ozman the Wizard. And Naima. And this is Not, not another, another Damn, damn podcast, podcast. Presented by our damn, damn selves. selves. 139. 139. This one's going to be tough, but <sighs> y'all tough. already know what we're going to talk about. But yeah. before we get started, shout out to the lovely jazz creator of J Sculpt. Hi, jazz. First Mendes Melter covers your entire midsection and provides 100% comfort during your workouts. Like, mm-hmm. never take life for granted. Like, you know, treat every day like it's your last because you never really you never know. know. Absolutely. And I didn't expect this episode to be heavy like this. There's no. a lot of fun There's stuff that fun, we were going to talk silly about. Silly stuff to like laugh at. Because, yeah. You know, with all yeah. the craziness going on, like the impeachment, all the yeah. just negativity just going on. We're like, we just want to just. The Dolly challenges. Yeah, There's been a lot of wanna, silly Meghan yeah. Markle, like adjusting her life outside yeah. of the royal family. Was, we was like, we want to just focus on fun and things. Some fun NBA news we're going to focus on. Zion Williamson made his NBA. NBA debut. Right. NBA All Star starters were released. Yes. LeBron passed the man we're going to talk about in the yes. all time scoring list. But yes. all of that is going to the back right now. Because wow. rest in peace to a true legend. True legend. One of the top five or 10 greatest players of all time. Of all times. Kobe Bean Bryant died in a helicopter crash. Sunday morning. Just about an hour before we were recording this. Something like that. Mm. Because we were just sitting down, getting ready to (laughs) record. Just getting ready to record, getting our, clearing our And I'm just going through my stories. You know, I have my stories and my notes in my phone. And then the alert from TMZ just popped up. And like, it, you know, it said the words, um, I'm going to read it. It said, Kobe Bryant dies. Like, I'm thinking it's about, when I see Kobe Bryant's name, I'm thinking it's about LeBron. Exactly. Or, the, or the Grammys is going on this weekend. Mm-hmm. There's a lot going on. Right. I thought, um, oh, is Kobe doing something at the Grammys? Like, are they still talking about LeBron getting passed by LeBron? And they said, or is die. he doing a new, um, new venture because he did just win an Oscar last yeah, year? Like, for is deer he basketball? Right? Is he that. doing something? You know? And then it said, right. dies in helicopter. I was like, what? I had to click on it. I still got tracks. the alert right here. It stops you in your tracks. Just so one hour ago, you see it. One hour ago, this is just happened. This story. Right. This alert just happened one hour ago. This is very breaking news as we record this. Like, I was shaking. Like, that's why it took us an hour to really get together to record right. this. Like, my hands were literally shaking as I was reading the story from and TMZ. And the first thing I was just like, I was like, this isn't true. And instantly, um, Khalil could see a shift in my body because Khalil, he just was like, mommy, mommy. And he's tapping me trying to. He and got then, quiet as hell. And then my face is just. Mm-hmm. Just somber look on my face, and my son's trying to. Because I showed mommy, you, I was mommy. like, my natural reaction was the first words on my mouth. Holy shit! That's like the right. words that and came right like, out of my mouth, what? and then I just held me, the phone and you held up, it up and I was like, mm-hmm. I was like, it can't be. I was like, I know TMZ is usually they're pretty good. credible, but even they make mistakes. I was so. like, but I was like, this is not. I was like, it, it can't be true. I was and then like, let we me, just started let me doing find, more research. We couldn't else. find anything for a while. All the Kobe Bryant stories about him getting passed by LeBron and the all time scoring. Because LeBron's number three now behind Carl Malone and, and uh, Kareem, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Abdul-Jabbar. It's right. like Kobe is fourth now on the all-time right. scoring list. LeBron mm-hmm. passed him the other day. Mm-hmm. And that's all the stories, was, except for this TMZ story. Like, right. every story was that, with the exception of the TMZ. I went to the Bleacher Report. Went to NBA.com. To NBA. They didn't even have Nothing anything. NBA.com here. didn't have this story. TMZ was the only one that had it for, like, a half hour as we like figuring out like okay like is it true is it true is it not is it, is it not a hoax like, of course like social media but like social media social media like i saw it all on twitter on facebook but right. people make shit up all the time on social media right. only story i saw that was like had a shred of credibility was that tmz story right anything else i was like i don't but then i started seeing the other sites reported but they were repeating that story right according to according tmz to so, like, I didn't have, like, no credit. And, like, even his Wikipedia page hadn't been updated. Because uh-huh. I went there to see it. said, Kobe Bryant's an American basketball Ball player. player. Is an American. Ba- and it just is had it? his birth date. Yeah. And then, like, just a few minutes ago, it had his birth date and had today's date of death. Yeah. His birth date and death. Then it said Kobe Bryant was, was an, American an American basketball player for the Lakers. It said it changed to that. So, I was like, yeah, this is true. Like, somebody. I'm pretty sure they locked that page. And because Wikipedia is pretty good about that. Right. Because, like. Is like anybody can edit stuff, you know, assholes like to do jokes and shit. Right. Like people do goofy shit all the time. Like, um, remember, um, when they edited the Bulls page, is like switch the owner from Jerry Reinsdorf to LeBron James. Cause like when the Bulls got eliminated by LeBron oh, another, yeah, for another yeah. year, but 
because like Bulls never beat a LeBron team. They, they said, haven't. So they said LeBron owns the Bulls. Oh, Somebody the Bulls, like yeah. went as a hoax did that. Yeah, right. the owner, the LeBron James. Like, but people do that. I'm like, but I'm sure they lock this Kobe page immediately because they know how people are. Right. Wikipedia is like lock it till we figure out yeah, what's going not? on. Because it, 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 it didn't say anything. Like, nobody edited it for, like, a half hour. Mm-hmm. It still just had his regular bio. So, I'm like, I'm pretty sure Wikipedia has locked that page because right. somebody would have changed it And by then now. TMZ kept on saying at the bottom of theirs, they said, story, developing. story is developing. And then story they kept they kept getting more details. Like, they added a picture of you could see the smoke in the of mountains. The okay, the, that's uh, where the, the helicopter, helicopter crashed. crashed excuse me, yeah. And then they started putting more details about, um, there were five passengers five on board. All five are believed to have died, like. His wife and children weren't any of the passengers aboard. What Vanessa and his four daughters weren't on the, on yeah. there. And they just had another baby. Yeah, I posted Gosh. a pic of Kobe like and his wife when she was pregnant, Gosh. so she just had the baby. Because I posted it, it's mm-hmm. like so sad looking like yeah, pictures four, like that now. Four children. It's like right before she had, she was like very pregnant on this yeah. pic right before she had their youngest daughter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm truly shocked and shook with this. Like, and I just, I really just feel for it so. Whether you this like, one is going to hurt for a long time. Whether you like Kobe or not, just Kobe Bryant is part of the culture. He we is, all, and yeah. He, I just he feel so bad all of for us. his wife and his children. That's yeah. like I feel so bad for his them. wife and those girls. Like they, you know, I can't even imagine what they. Yeah, I feel it's so like bad it reminds me of Nipsey Hussle last year. It's like my it first thoughts was like with Lauren London. Like, right. I can't even imagine what she's going through. I can't even imagine what Vanessa and those girls are going through. Because it's right like now. you do a routine every day, like they or like all the time. They said like, Kobe, Kobe been flying in his helicopter, helicopter for years. Since he was he playing does with the it Lakers. All the time. That's his thing. And it's like you go off and then you kiss your wife and your kids and you're just like, I'll be right back. And like with the same thing with Nifty Hustle, I'm 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 just gonna make this run real quick. You just run mm-hmm. off real quick to do something of your normal routine and then you don't come home. Mm. And then the police, the sheriff, whoever comes and they have to give the report to your family that you've passed away. And I've never had to do this. I hope I never have to like I hope to, I never have, to, have to um to. go to the identify and like <sighs> Vanessa gotta go to the morgue and like you know pull that sheet back and like yeah is this it like you gotta identify right. him and that just I can't even imagine. Yeah. So my prayers really are going with his family, like his wife, his children, his parents, because I mean his parents are still alive. Yeah, Jelly Bean Joe Bryant. Yeah, yeah. so mm-hmm. you know just, I forget his mom's name. I know his father was a yeah, former his NBA, was player, NBA player. Jelly player. Bean Joe Bryant. Yeah. Back in the seventies. So. Yeah. And then Kobe uh lived most of uh his childhood overseas because his dad played in Italy. So yeah. that's why he was fluent in Italian. He could speak mm-hmm. fluent Italian. Um, yeah. He's one of the few players in modern history to play with one team his whole career. Yeah. His entire career was played with the Lakers, even though the Hornets drafted him. A lot of people forgot that. But oh, he yeah. never played a game for I, them. I was a historian. Yeah. All right, it's going to be a Kobe Bryant podcast. Yeah, yeah, so. We're going to go through his whole career. Yeah. Cause draft night, Charlotte Hornets drafted him. Number thirteenth overall than the nineteen mm-hmm. uh, the legendary nineteen ninety six draft draft which was it's like deep. one of the three greatest drafts of ninety six oh three eighty four probably the three greatest yeah. drafts like that I've ever seen right if it's others like I don't it might have been old before we oh. started watching but those are the three like when people mentioning what was the greatest draft cra- class either eighty four ninety six or two thousand three yeah. eighty four because like Michael Jordan ninety six Kobe Bryant mm-hmm. oh three LeBron, LeBron James yeah. like. Those are some people say are the three greatest yeah. of all time. Mm-hmm. I like um those three. I, I always had Kobe as my six man. I might be biased now because always my greatest five. As a matter of fact, sorry, Larry, you're out of the top five. <laughs> Kobe five <laughs> because my said the uh, Jordan, Magic, LeBron, Kareem, and Bird were my top five. I'm mm-hmm. putting Kobe in that fifth spot, mm-hmm. and Bird is my six man. So solid That's five. A solid five. In that order, I think, yeah. I like Jordan, Magic, Bron, Kareem, Bird, and Kobe Bryant are the six greatest of all time to me. Where you put Hakeem Dream? Hakeem, top 15 at least. I don't okay. know if he's 10. I, was I like, say Tim Duncan is top 10. I said Hakeem Shaq's top 10. Yes, yeah. I gotta go through the rest. It starts to get yeah. difficult when you look at that. It gets a little difficult. Yeah, when I get outside of that six, that yeah. six is I'm pretty locked in on those six. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm those are that's the unbreakables right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the Jordan, Magic, LeBron, Kareem, Kobe, and Bird are the unbreakables. Like yeah. that's that six is solid. Mm-hmm. And sometimes the order might shift with right. some of them, but those are the six that are locked in to me. Yeah, but just 
I'm just still just. I'm oh, trying and the to famous gather. draft. I see. I'm about to mention oh, that the famous draft they trade was um the Charlotte Hornets right. traded Kobe Bryant for Vladi Diva. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you know right. why that happened? Because why it happened. the Lakers were because that created the cap space to go out and sign Shaq. Ah. So it killed two birds in one stone because, like, we create cap space and we get rid of a center because, like, if we bring in Shaq in, we don't need Lottie. So, yeah, no get shade. him out of here. It's like, yeah. <laughs> no shade. So we get rid of our starting center, create the cap space because the um Orlando was being goofy. We're going to tell some basketball stories. Yeah. I know y'all are not going to be mad at these basketball stories because, no. like, it's all about Kobe today. Yes. He's giving history lessons. Yeah. We, mm-hmm. I watched his whole career. That's why this one hurt so bad. Yeah. It's one of those guys I watched his entire career. As like some people, you can't say like, um, I know you didn't see early Jordan. No. Most of Jordan's Mostly rookie not, year, yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> right. I remember a Jordan around when um he bust the Celtics ass in 86. So I remember that. was like my, when he jumped up, Bulls win, Bulls win. That's 88 like, All-Star with uh, battling Dominique in the dunk contest. I remember vaguely, those. Like, I that's remember the stuff vaguely. I remember. My early members of Jordan is probably him busting Larry's ass in that busting the 63 Larry's point ass. game. You know the 63 point <laughs> yeah. game, that one. That's yeah. my earliest memory of busting Jordan. Was that. And that was 86, yeah. <laughs> So like um, but Kobe, we saw his whole career. Yeah, because Kobe is uh, well, he was excuse me, three years older than me. Yeah, so, forty one years old. Yeah, he was three years older than me. Young so man. it's like that's, that's why it hurts so more. Like too. we could have so went to high man. school yeah. together. Like, that's my error because mm-hmm. it's like back in the day, like I did have a crush on Kobe Bryant, and our dad was a um. Sports, sports card, card collector. collector. So he had dad, a shop back in the nineties. So dad bought that me I worked at. Kobe Bryant cards, and I still have these Kobe Bryant cards. Years ago, I had a Kobe Bryant rookie card, and I hid it from myself, and mm. I don't know what happened to it. I know you're mad now. I hid it from myself because even that, though um, dad told even me, even if I had the Kobe Bryant rookie now, it's not it's not pr- gone, yeah, right. price, priceless. I have some other I'm cards. I'm not sure, but I'm, 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 I'm keeping them. I'm not selling that rookie card because that rookie, I know the price just went through the roof right now mm-hmm. today. But um, even if I had it. It's not for sale yet. Because dad told me, dad so, was like, hold this card to the side. He said, because Kobe might be something special. He said, hold this to the side. Don't hold with your other one. So I put it in the, you know, the separate little where you put like mm-hmm. the screws and then it's in that thick plastic mm-hmm. thing. And then I put it in a safe spot and I don't remember where I put it at. Mm-hmm. And I never could find it once I moved out. I never could find it. So, But getting back to what I was saying, yeah. how the Lakers, um, how they pulled the gangster move, how they got Shaq and Kobe together. Yeah, okay, yeah. Because, you know, Shaq down. was like, yeah, dominant Orlando. He yeah. just went to the finals the year before, the 95 finals. Right. They got swept by Hakeem and then who you just mentioned. But the they went, though. Yeah, Shaq and Penny. And yeah. then the very next year. The next year, they got <laughs> the swept Bulls. by the Bulls. So that's back-to-back. Shaq got swept with Orlando teams. Yeah. The Bulls and swept in the Eastern Conference Bulls. Finals. That was the 72 Yeah, that's Bulls, the one that right won here. the title. Bulls beat Seattle mm-hmm. that year. Oh, yeah. And so then summer of 96, is um Shaq's contract was up. You know, he was a free agent. And for some reason that year, the CBA had, um, they had got rid of restricted free agency. It was like mm-hmm. unrestricted that year. I don't like something happened where it was a loophole where Shaq was able to leave like after four years. And we got drafted in 92. Right. Like nowadays, like it's like the Lakers make an offer, Orlando just match it. Like, no, they, they have restricted right. free exactly. agency. But yeah. for whatever, and that, that CBA for that, for that small time frame from like maybe like 95 to like 97 or whatever it was like. Or ninety eight, whenever the new CBA was signed, they had no restricted free agency. Mm. So like Shaq was unrestricted, so he could go wherever he wanted. Wherever I want to go. And like LA, you know, Jerry West, a gangster, like, yeah, he's the same guy that put that Golden State team together. And he's a logo also. Yeah, so. he's a logo. And he <laughs> put this gangster. current Clippers team <laughs> right. together, like the, the the gangster move right there. So right. he's the one who put the, the Shaq and Kobe team. And that the Lakers had a decent little team at the time. They had Van Exel, they had Eddie Jones, they had Vlade, Eldon Campbell. It was like middle or like first round exit team. They yeah. were cool, like but that team. Wasn't and on a whim, titles, they like, might even make it to the second round, but get out. Yeah, upset. They as might an upset. as a on you know, whim. As an upset, right? But um, and he like just started just giving guys away. Like Vladi was one of those. He said, hmm, "Give me that, give me that rookie." Yeah, you say it's a, Charlotte needed a center because remember what happened with Charlotte. They traded Alonzo Mourning a year before, so they didn't have a center. Mm. They traded him to Miami. To Miami Pat Riley pulled his gangster did. move and got basically Alonzo Mourning for nothing. Yeah, <laughs> with the slip. I don't remember what he gave. Oh, I think Glenn Rice <laughs> and like some other stuff. Like he basically got Alonzo Mourning for nothing. So, so the, um, the Charlotte Hornets <laughs> needed a center. Yeah, and so they like 
went to that. Okay, Lakers are giving Vladi away. We'll take him. They probably had no idea the Lakers was going after Shaq. Yeah, Shaq right. Vladi became available. Is this going to cost us a first round pick? Okay. Okay. It seemed like they won that. And it's like, okay, you take this 18 uh, year old kid. Okay, yeah. you take this 18 year old. And like the pick wasn't even that great. 13th. Right. It's like, that's all right. Like Doug McDermott was around there for the Bulls. <laughs> like when you're in that, when you that part of the draft is like it's a crapshoot. Right. It's like it's not guaranteed. You cool. You, get there. Like yeah. you you cool. Yeah. In most instances, like Bobby you're cool. Portis got drafted around there. It's like see, that. That's the quality of players. Snow, you, you, Tony Snell. You, Tony like Snell. That, you yeah. typically gonna get guys like, <laughs> like that, that in that mid teens. Like yeah. Yeah. Like a <laughs> like they're cool. They're a role player. Yeah. They're cool. Denzel Valentine. Role like, player. Players like that. Right, like the Bulls player. drafted in that part of the like draft. Like you always say, no no one's special. Role player. So yeah. So Bro Charlotte player. probably didn't even think, okay, we just got a starting center for just giving up Doug McDermott. He wasn't even born. Oh, he, he was born, but he wasn't in the league yet. But basically, that's what I'm sure that's their mindset. It's like they thought they won. It's like, yeah, we got our starting center. All we had to do was give up give up Bobby Portis. Yeah, yeah. good. Go ahead. Yeah. We good. We yeah. good over here. But that player turned out to be the late Kobe Bryant. And then even at the yeah. time, it's like, okay, Kobe Bryant's like, okay, he's the son of an NBA player. And, okay, he mm-hmm. has great potential, but we're just going to see how it goes. Because Kobe didn't start his first, his rookie year. He did. He came off the bench. Mm-hmm. I told you, I described the team. They had Van Exel and Eddie Jones. That was their starting backcourt. Right. So, like, Kobe was come playing behind those guys. Yeah. Right. He didn't start his rookie year. And then, um, eventually, yeah, like, the, you saw the fire in his eyes even then. Never let a freshman take his spot. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> That's what happened. Van Exel was gone not shortly after. Right. <laughs> he wasn't there that much longer. <laughs> Maybe a year later, Van Exel was out of there. And I was just seeing on NBA TV when they were talking, they was like um, saying that Kobe, like when they would have like their practices or whatever, Kobe would be there like two hours before the other guys, like doing Kobe his own thing. Yeah. He'd be there. He'd be the first one there and the last and one the to last leave. One to leave. That's was Co- that was Kobe Bryant. Mm-hmm. Now that's work why, ethic. Yep. Which that's is why Kobe right is one of the f- best five or six players of all time because of that. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. First one in the gym, last one to leave. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so. Jerry West put a hell of a team. And wouldn't together. he be the one that if he missed a free throw, he would take like a hundred in a he row? He would or do something? that. He yeah. stay after the game, like you no know, empty um staple center, just shooting, shooting. Like he if he missed shots, like Kobe would just like be missed there. shots that were like mm-hmm. crucial shots to the game that you know you could have mm-hmm. won the game and I missed this shot. So mm-hmm. now I'm gonna take my accountability and I'm gonna go out here. Mm-hmm. So I mean, that right there alone, just the the hunger with this dude, the beast mode that this dude had, you know, mm-hmm. just incredible. And then we got those Shaq and Kobe Lakers. Yep. That, whew. Which um at mm. first they were um a good team, but then um the piece that they needed was um they needed the right coach. Yeah. So then and that blamed the Bulls for that. But like how that happened because because like with Jack, Krause. Jerry Kraus and Phil Jackson. <laughs> Just didn't get along. They were oil and wire. So Kraus told them because like Phil was on his one year deal, and um, the Bulls like they were like they were champions like, and like of course the fans wanted it, Mm -hmm. and even like probably Reinsdorf probably secretly wanted. He's like, let's let's do it again. Right. And Kraus like and and Phil would probably would have been open to coming back. You know what Kraus told Phil Jackson? I don't care if we go eighty two and zero. Like you're done. You're done. It don't matter what we do. Like we go undefeated. What he's saying. Like, this is your last year because you signed a one year deal. Oh, they all did. Phil, Jordan, Jordan. they signed one year yeah. deals like for that last that ninety eight championship. Mm-hmm. He said, "I don't care if his team goes eighty two and no, yeah, it's out of here." And that caused a chain reaction for everything because then Michael was like, "If Phil's not here, I'm not playing." I'm not playing for Michael that. didn't want to leave. He people did. don't think people think that Michael wanted to retire as he didn't. He did. Michael would have came back another year. Like had Phil stay. He said, "But I'm not playing for Tim fucking Floyd." Like. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jordan basically was saying, yeah, <laughs> he's like, I'm not playing for him. Like, if he's the coach, then I'm out of here. Out. And then when they fired Phil, it's like, and they brought, he's in Michael's like, okay, Domino my second effect. retirement. And then they started trading Scotty. They yeah. started trading. They traded Kerr. They, like, the Rodman, they just waved. Like, yeah, they just Rodman, like, yeah. they're like, you're done. Yeah, they just cut him. Yeah, they didn't even mm-hmm. trade him. He's cut him. Yeah, yeah, Pippen. I felt bad for Pippen, though, in that instance. Because Pippen mm-hmm. is looking like, wait, what, what just happened? Like, mm-hmm. if he was out in the cold, like... Mm-hmm. Cause Mike is like, I'm retiring. Yep, it's crazy. Yeah, that cat. But um, that's a that's so Phil Jackson. He was a free agent, and then the Lakers like, yoink. We we'll take you. <laughs> Jerry West once again is like the logo. Okay, yeah, sure. That Jerry <laughs> was an asshole, but I'm a better Jerry. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was like he the two Jerry's on the both Jerry's. sides. 
Cause you had Jerry West, like Jerry, as far as the Bulls, you had Jerry Reinsdorf and um Jerry Krause. And then you had uh, Jerry Jerry's. Jerry Buss and Jerry West with the Lakers. So Phil too much played Jerry's for four going, Jerry's. Right, too like, much Jerry going back around. to back. It's like, right, yeah. That's too much. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Mm-hmm. That's a lot, it's a lot of Jerry. Yeah. yeah. I got people texting me about Kobe now because yeah, they all yeah. Yeah, because I mean this this one hurts. This is going to hurt. Yeah. Because this is our this is our generation. Mm-hmm. This is one of the few plays we could say that we saw him from, like we said earlier. We saw his entire his career. His entire career. Him bloom from a skinny little 18-year-old kid. getting drafted in 96 to um, becoming one of the greatest of all time by 2014. All right. We saw that whole run. We saw the 81 points that he scored. Yeah, 81. We saw that. We saw the um, only team to uh, other than that other than the Bulls to three-peat was a Kobe and Shaq. Yeah. Cause like I was just talking about that last year when the Warriors got beat by Toronto. I was talking about that one. People, I was like, getting that third one is hard. It's hard, yeah. Like back to back, a lot of teams have done that. That third one is tough yeah. though. So there's only been two teams in my life. Like Bulls did it twice, and then Shaq and Kobe had a three peak. They won in 2000, 2001, 2002. Mm-hmm. They beat Indiana 2000. That was Shaq and Kobe's first ring. Then they beat AI in 01. Yeah, I remember that. I remember and that. With Phil and them beat Jason Kidd with the Nets in um, oh, 02. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That was so, like, they got three in a row. Like, mm-hmm. so, so it's only been, like, two teams that did that. even the Spurs Bulls never won back-to-back. Spurs back. never won back-to-back. But they're still a dynasty. People mm-hmm. try, like, like they try dynasty, to take their yeah. dynasty away. It's like, but they are still a dynasty just because they didn't win back-to-back. And back. some great teams only got the one in there. 08 Celtics only won one. Bad boy, not the bad boy. The um, the Pistons, um, the, the 04 Pistons only got one. Mavs only got one. Yeah. Even though these teams went to multiple finals, mm-hmm. like Celtics went to a couple finals. The Pistons went back to back finals, but only won the one. The, the Mavs went 06, and then 2011 they lost in 06 and won in 2011. Mm-hmm. Heat back to back, they couldn't get that third in a row. They lost mm-hmm. to the Spurs that third year. Yeah. It's like that third one's tough. The third I'm one you, is tough. Bad boys couldn't get it because obviously the bull swept, swept them, and like, then yeah. they walked off the yeah. court like. Mm-hmm. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> that third one's tough, so that's what um. So the third time's Shaq, not a charm. It's yeah. not you know people. That try Shaq and Kobe charm. team was special, like because in our life, like and then like just period. The only teams, the only other team to do that before was the um Bill Russell Celtics way right, back which when, was yeah, before any, way like, back like when, like in the sixties, yeah. So it was really only. Three teams that have won three in a row, then ever. Yeah. Celtics, Bulls, Lakers. Yeah. Russell did it like eight in a row, and Bulls did it twice back to back to um three P twice. Three-peat, Shaq three-peat. and Kobe had a three P. And then what you call ironically, um, Pat Riley was the one who he had coined trademarked the term, three P because like died. they were going for the three, but then the bad boy said, "Manamana." <laughs> nope. <laughs> That boy snatched that third one. <laughs> so here's the lesson: when you make trademark phrases, then mm-hmm. don't make trademark phrases because then other teams got to use it, just not a Pat Riley team. Yeah. He didn't even get to use it in Miami because the Spurs said nope <laughs> when they were going for the third. He was like, "I'm people. finally gonna get it now." And they yeah. were like, "Everybody nope. knew that LeBron Wade and Bosch were gonna win three in a row. Like everybody just knew that." And then, uh, then Popovich then, said, "Nope." And then the young Kawhi <laughs> was like, "Nope." Mm. The Claw. Yeah, the young Claw. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it was. Second or third year, Claude, young Claude. <laughs> but this this one is going to hurt, man. I'll yeah. try to laugh to keep from crying. That's why I just try to. Yeah, because it's just. It's, it's surreal. It doesn't even it seem is. real to it's me. It's just like, what the hell? Like. So you know that if, when they have All Star here in Chicago, you know they're going to honor Kobe. It's going to be something. They got to do something special. They for got him, to, yeah. They got to do something, yeah. Mm hmm. I don't know what, but I'm pretty sure All Star Weekend. It's they gotta it gotta be something mm-hmm. with Kobe, something special. This they gotta day be. is just this is just a sad day for. I mean, even if you're not a basketball fan, this is just a sad day. Mm. Especially us as basketball fans, like this is a day of sadness. I told you, I was legit shook. Like this is uh, it. It's the first time I've been shook like that since, like I said, since when Doug Banks and Prince and like that, yeah. when when all of them were dying around that time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But when I'm, when I was legit shocked by a death, because mm-hmm. people die all the time, this one was legit shocking. Yeah, and that's the matter in which way he died, like in a helicopter crash. It's and just I'm to the point now is like, um, 
I've never been in a helicopter. I don't think I will now. Yeah, cause that like, shit got me shook. I haven't been in a helicopter either, and I was considering like wanting to like do. I like, always wanted to tour, do one because they do the tours in Chicago, and you can like go past and see like the skyscrapers and stuff. And you know, now. Uber is about to start doing helicopters too. It's like oh. I don't know if I'm going to take one yeah, of those. Yeah, like now after <laughs> you know, because then it's like you could get from like. Like to the airport in like twenty or like it's like real quick from like like yeah. a few minutes, not even twenty, like because you could drive there and that maybe like between five and ten minutes get from like downtown out to the airport in a helicopter, mm-hmm. like. But I don't, yeah, you not, I'm not, yeah, yeah. Is, I'm not getting in the Uber chopper. Yeah. I'm not after this. I said this is really, this is really just so sad like that's it's like i i can't even find words to just especially since kobe was just um congratulating lebron right that, and that's his last so tweet funny. is just so creepy now right. that's it's like because his last tweet let's pull it up mm-hmm. his last tweet continue to move the game forward king james must respect my brother that's the last thing kobe bryant posted on social media last week at last night at around 9 30 yeah mm. And then they had LeBron TV like saying like you know what it meant for him to um, pass Kobe and just like you know playing against Kobe you know I just yeah you know what that means to him and it's like even though we never got the Kobe LeBron finals that we wanted we never got it yeah thanks to LeBron's current teammate Dwight Howard yeah now. Dwight Howard we screwed that, that up. up. Because that was the year it should have happened. 2009, 2010. Yeah. 2010. Yeah. 10 was, was um, that's when um, the, Cel- yeah. the Celtics and LeBron took he the took jersey off. The puppets, and all of that, yeah. Yeah. But 2009 <laughs> was the year where like the best chance of it happened. Because, that's why he's um, like 2009. Lakers made the finals and then the Cavs were dominant. And then like Orlando, nobody Orlando. believes. Like nobody, Orlando's not going to the finals. But then they did though. It's like, why are you even here? <laughs> like. Mm-hmm. Like nobody wanted to see Everybody Dwight Howard. Like, <laughs> really, <laughs> we wanted to see LeBron versus Kobe. LeBron versus Kobe, see. or even like later Lakers Celtics again would have been yeah, more exciting, that, which they did get the following time. year. But nobody wanted to see Orlando in yeah. the finals that year, nobody except for that. An Or if you lived in Orlando, nobody then you wanted, wanted that the, magic. Yeah, nobody wanted that. Nobody wanted that. <laughs> nobody wanted to see Hito Turgaloo. I'm Hito sorry, Turgaloo. <laughs> Jameer Nelson. Jameer nobody Nelson. wanted that team. Who else is on that team? <laughs> you pulled out some names. Um. I forgot most of those guys now. No, t- I'm thinking of laugh. some of the role players that Turkaloo were on that made team. Me laugh right there. Wasn't Richard Lewis on that team? I think he was. He may have been. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Nobody wanted to see those guys play. Though. <laughs> like you said, it's either going to be Lakers and Celtics for that 100th time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Which I just had the year before. You thought, okay, they get the rematch. Yeah. Then like that didn't happen because the Celtics got bounced by LeBron and them want to say, like, okay, okay now we Kobe. finally going to get that right, LeBron Kobe cool. finals that we wanted. And then the magic screwed that up. Yeah. All the way. Mm-hmm. And I was like, at least Kobe will get his fourth. Now I started. At least he a tie Shaq. Cause like Shaq did the tell me in my ass taste thing the year before that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, now at least he could tie Shaq. It's like, cause they, Orlando's not winning the championship. At least like he can tie Shaq. Happen. And then the following year they won. Like uh, yeah. they beat he, he passed it. And that's when he Kobe, said, Kobe oh, yeah, being Kobe. So like, now I said, how's it feel like I'm um, winning number five? He's like, now I got one more oh, than Shaq. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I, I don't, don't forget. forget. <laughs> hey Kobe. And I, I tip my hat to him for mm-hmm. that because that was Mm. That was the that was the uh the ultimate mm. way to give the finger like ha ha that was the ultimate way mm. to do that. Mm. And then Shaq where he tried to play with the who was at Boston. Mm. And then he like Our old Shaq and with then the he Celtics. Tore his, yeah. whatever, he like tore his Just whatever. running up the court. <laughs> he tore his quad or whatever. Mm. We was rough the court. But speaking of Shaq, Shaq did um he just he blacked out his social media, I guess not of the black mom. He blacked it out yeah. and just put the tear emoji on there. So yeah. shout out Shaq, yeah. Cause like, even though they had their differences, like during that, cause, like we mentioned, um, how Shaq, uh, how Kobe was like a monster. His work ethic was off the chain. Mm-hmm. Shaq was just naturally dominant, so he right. didn't put the work that Kobe put in, and that's what one of the rifts between them. Mm-hmm. He's like, dude, like work, work your big ass off. It's like you know, Shaq just Shaq didn't have to like be work out like that. Yeah, Shaq he was just show the, up and dominate. Shaq was the uh, kid who has the two hundred IQ. Mm-hmm. genius level who can just come in and take a test mm-hmm. and like if i just take a test without studying i'm still gonna get a b plus yeah a b plus that's kick-ass if you don't study mm. but it's like the other person kobe was the 
yeah, I have natural gift where like I could naturally pass, but I want to get an A plus. I have to, yeah. I want to get have, an A plus, and I have to study to get that A plus. So I can't and just I show study. up. And I get can't it show there. up and get a B plus. Whereas I can't just show up. I just up can't and get show that, up yeah. and do that. Mm-hmm. And so that was Kobe, like the that's one of the riffs between them. Whole, the riff, yeah. Kobe wanted Shaq to work harder and all of that, and then mm-hmm. of course Shaq being Shaq is like, I'm Shaq. How you you gonna tell me I like? So that was one of the things that they were able to play together. But that was one of the things they argued about was mm-hmm. that like. Basically, Kobe basically in a, it is roundabout ways to call Jack lazy in a roundabout yeah. way. And, of course, Shaq didn't take kindly to that. Yeah, because like, nobody hey, yeah. don't want Somebody it. Somebody calls you lazy and you're one of the most dominant players of all time. Like, you like, I'm what? Shaq. <laughs> like, well, I'm Shaq. Was, you know, it's mm-hmm. like, yeah, so. And then. Um, the huge upset that happened in 04 with that team, with the um, Pistons with the we Oprah mentioned. With the Pistons, yeah. And that was uh, that was the, probably the deepest Laker team because they brought in Carl Malone and yeah. Gary Payton that year. And we just knew Carl Malone. He's going to get his ring finally. Yep. Yeah, he's going to get that ring. Malone should have retired. The, well, he like a lot of people thought he should have retired the year before because Stockton retired. Right. But then Carl was like, no, I, I think I'm going to go get me a ring. I'm going to sign with the ring. Lakers. He's like, because they both, because both these Jazz fans thought, okay, Stockton will retire this year. Malone was like, I never said I was retired. I said, Stockton said he was retiring. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't say shit. Yeah, like, <laughs> I didn't say said, shit. I said, yeah, I'm not signing back here, but I'll, I'll sign with these Lakers and try to get this championship. And that's the thing I don't like because it's like, okay, you could have been a one team guy too. He almost was, yeah. And then um, he signed with them. And then you yeah. try to get a ring. I mean, I get why you did. You try to get a ring. It just didn't pan out. And then he retired after that. Especially if the Lakers like, yeah. reached out to him. It's like, hey, right. Carl, you want to. Come get this championship. Because, I mean, you think about he's the number two scorer of all mm-hmm. time. Yep. So, it's like you can use – like, he just wouldn't just be an old guy sitting at the end of the bench, mm-hmm. like, just Not, getting his ring. Like, he was a starting four on that team. Right. Like, he still mm-hmm. could contribute and give real minutes and do that. So, mm-hmm. and then, um, like, a fun memory to think about Kobe when – um. He got uh, injured in the game, and he had the mask, and then he was the mask mamba. Mask mamba, yeah. <laughs> I like the mask mamba. Didn't, didn't Wade break his Wade, nose, I think? In an all-star Something game. Like I was like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, why are you playing real defense in an all-star game? it was Wade. That's, that's it that, was Wade. That's that side town right there coming out there. That's the south side coming yeah, out. The south side. <laughs> south side. That's that D Wade. <laughs> no, usually it'd be the west side guys that'd be grinding. Yeah, it wasn't Pat Beverly. Like, Pat Beverly broke Russell Westbrook's knee. <laughs> well, um, what's his face? Tony Allen. Oh, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> west side. <laughs> Because South Side is more finesse, yeah. like D-Rose, D-Wade. Like they're more finesse. They get D, they, D-Wade was Robin, so they kind of yeah, went out there. Robins, so there yeah. you go. <laughs> they're, a little, they're a little West Side. They're a little Robins. West Side. <laughs> they be West Side. But yeah, when he like broke his nose, I was like, who breaks the nose in an All-Star mm-hmm. game? Who does that? And he became the mask mom. And then he had yeah. the mask on and then. That's when, like we said, the mask mama was born in. Mm. That was a cool thing because it looked like he was like a superhero. Like it was like by day mm-hmm. he's Kobe, by night he's mask mama. And Nike should have did a whole campaign yeah, with the mask mama. Since since it happened, like why not make it part? Yeah. He broke his nose anyway. Make it part of the campaign. It's Turn like, lemons hey, into lemonade. Exactly, yeah. That's what you do. <laughs> maybe I should have been in marketing. Yeah. I should maybe that should have been my career. Yeah, I'm Nike having really should have been. I'm having that. doubts now about. I'd have had my Kobe choices. in the studio that next day. Like we're gonna shoot some commercials with you in this mask. Yeah. Like, we're gonna create this whole new character. Well, you're gonna look Mamba. a la Batman, mm-hmm. like that, like vigilante Batman. You're gonna look like it could have made a whole thing out of it, like yeah, where like he and like makes it like like they don't know it's the same person, like the Chris Paul and Cliff Paul, like that, yeah, because they like that where they act like it's not the same person, like Mass Mamba. They have uh, who is this Mass Mamba guy? Yeah. They have Kobe like talking about the Mass Mamba, yeah. like he's another person. I'm a Superman, like yeah. that, like Clark Kent, Superman, mm-hmm. yeah. He's like, who is this mass mamba you talk about? Yeah. They have Kobe like talking about the mass mamba like another person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, that would have been a cool campaign that Nike could have got out of it. Yeah. Mm. Y'all missed it, Nike. Y'all I got to add some there. Kobe's to my collection now. Mm-hmm. Just because uh, cause I don't have any Kobe Bryant sneakers. I got to add some to my. I got to mm-hmm. add a pair. I got to decide which ones I want. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to look at my cards and see like what. Kind of, mm-hmm. because I do have like um from his uh first two years I think in the league, mm-hmm. like that's what my car collection is from, like his first two years. Like I said if uh if if my uh if my rookie card turn up I ain't, I ain't going to announce it I ain't going to say mm-hmm. that you know because I don't want nobody coming over here and me but and like I said that's one you hold like yeah you hold not it sell you that. hold it yeah I don't care what somebody offers yeah like, you that's... hold it. Is, is it's special. MasterCard priceless. Special. Yeah. It's MasterCard mm-hmm. at this point. 
But of course, social media is all over this. Marie, some of the celebrity posts mm-hmm. is um Kevin Hart posted. This honestly doesn't make sense. I just saw you, man. My heart hurts. God, please place your hands on your family and help them through this unbearable time. You know, Kevin Hart just had a near death experience, so he he can relate to this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he just had his um. Last year, yeah, it seems like he's mm-hmm. doing well with them. Um, yeah, he's rehabbing. back on the yeah, um, he's, he's back on the road. Like I saw him in the Rock yeah. did some um stuff for like their upcoming. Well, didn't they have something that just came Jumanji out? Jumanji too, I think. Just I came think out. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and they like did some promotion for that. Yeah. So Kevin Hart is back to being himself. Mm-hmm. Another one who just had um a serious accident, Melissa Ford. Yeah, she posted yeah. Uh, like, doesn't seem real. My heart breaks for his family, his little girls, the youngest being just a few months old. Wow. Mm-hmm. Because she had a near-death experience. Like, she, right. I was listening to her on The Breakfast Club talking about her accident. Right. Oh, like, basically, she um, she cracked her skull almost like um, they had to hold her head in place to keep her brain from oozing out. Like, like oh some, so some bystanders on the street basically had to hold her skull together until the, the medics Fair arrived. Because yeah. Yeah. her truck flipped over yeah, mm-hmm. on the highway. So so Melissa can um, relate to that as well, too. Mm-hmm. Hmm. But, um trying to find some more celebrity posts. Mm-hmm. I saw one that Gary Owen put up about his uh, family. Mm-hmm. He said the real rest in peace. And just like condolences for his family. Yeah, let me get back to my Twitter. Cause I'm Cause just, like, it's, the fact that you just have a new baby, it's like, mm-hmm. I mean, I can't even imagine that. And then his third child. Ice Cube, I can't believe that, that my hero and friend is gone too soon. I'm numb. No, Ice Cube, but grew up a Lakers yeah. fan, L.A. guy The Lakers right beat there. the Super Sonics. Yeah, and you mentioned in today. It was a good day. <laughs> Felt on her big, fat fanny. Pulled yeah. off the jam and he <laughs> killed the poo nanny. nanny. <laughs> know that whole song. Yes. <laughs> Showing my age now. I'm an Ice okay. Cube fan from way back. <laughs> was it like 91 when that song came out? 91 92? or 2 or something yeah. like that. I forget what year. It's 1 or 2. Yeah. Something like that. Jamie Foxx posted, can't take this one. Send it on press. His beautiful family. This will hurt for a lifetime. I'm with you on that, Jamie. Yeah. This one's going to hurt this for a long hurts. time. This one hurts, yeah. This is like another Michael Jackson, Prince. This is like that, you mm-hmm. know, because... Keisha Knight Pulliam, hearing the news about Kobe's death, completely broke my heart. Not because we lost a champion, but because his family. Everybody's talking about his family, absolutely. Right. because that's what mm-hmm. I feel as, you know, as a wife and mother. The fam- I feel... Nuggets held a moment family. of silence before that game with the Rockets. Yeah, that's yes, what they were yeah. saying. Yeah, Nuggets they were saying they were did that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because they were saying, yes, we're confirming that they are going to still play. I'm like, how? Like, I don't, and then they even, they, even he said on NBA TV, he said, I'm not sure what kind of basketball we're going to get today because they're play, like, their minds are not. I wonder if they give people the option if they want to play. Like, I'll be like, should. yeah, if, um, I'd ask the team, like, if you, if you don't want to play, you can sit this one out. Like, right. if those that want to play go out there, yeah, mm-hmm. then play. Because, I mean, can you even go out and even focus mm-hmm. on trying to play the game and. You know, like a lot of these, like I said, especially the younger guys, it's like you grew up watching Kobe Bryant. People who are like in his age group, it's like you played against him. Like he was one of your, you know, one of your opponents, one of your, like your mm. formidable opponents. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like mm. a Harden, he was like a formidable opponent yeah, for you. Cause yeah, because that was a debate um on YouTube like recently is about um who's better, Kobe or Harden. Because you no know, Harden's creeping up that list too. Right. Like with his numbers, he's been putting up these last two or three seasons. Mm-hmm. So then people are saying like, um, well, Harden passed Kobe on that shooting guard list. To me, the three, three greatest shooting guards of all time are Jordan, Kobe, Wade. Harden might be four behind those mm-hmm. three, but um, that's probably the three greatest two guards of all time, I would say. I would agree. Because mm-hmm. after Jordan and Kobe, it's like Wade is... Wade's three. Yeah, like, yeah, I would mm-hmm. agree with that. I would agree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Heartbroken is all two chains posted. Cause really it's hard to like, what do you say? Cause the first thing I just posted was I posted OMG and then people knew exactly what I meant when I just wrote OMG. Holy shit was my first response. Yeah, OMG so. was my response. Mm-hmm. OMG. Like I I didn't have words. Cause That's what Dr. Oz posted. Oh my God. No. He posted, yeah, Dr. Oz. Because I didn't think it was real. I was like, mm-hmm. this can't be real. Mm. It's it's still um shook. Mm-hmm. And then even the president, like he says a lot of dumb shit, but at least he posted something. Uh, yeah, the reports are out about co- the co- basketball great Kobe Bryant and three others being killed in the helicopter crash in California. This is terrible news. So even he, yeah. um, Trump, even 
gave his condolences. Mm -hmm. Just really sad. Mm. So now, oh my gosh, AOC I just thought, I just thought about something right now. Oh up? my gosh, this is going to be so hard to watch now. You know that documentary is coming on about Jordan and Jim, uh, the ten part series about yeah about the last season because Kobe's on there. Oh my yeah. god, I just thought about that right Remember now. Kobe and Jordan were in the league when because Kobe crossed them over in that All Star game right. that year. Was that the All Star game? I think I think Kobe did cross him in the All Star game that year. Kobe crossed him. I think it was the All Star game for mm -hmm. whatever year that was. Right. It might have been Kobe's first All Star and Michael's last or something. Maybe yeah. Michael did make one with the Wizards. Michael's last is a bull. Though. Michael did make one with the Wizards, I want to say. So I still say Michael's last as a bull was Kobe's first. <laughs> I'm blocking that in my mind. But no, I just thought about that right now because on that uh, documentary about Jordan, that uh, docket series that comes out in June, because on the uh, they released a trailer for it, and on mm -hmm. it they have um, Pippin's on it, I believe. Uh, I know Obama's on it. Mm -hmm. Kobe's on it. And I just thought about that right now. I'm like, so watching that's that. That's going to be hard to watch. That's going to be hard to watch. It. It's going to be very hard. Because, you know, they all show everybody. Everybody got something to say about Jordan. You know, the way they show the people sitting down, they're like. Especially Kobe. The way he pulls up. Like, the way know, he pulls up about to say something. If you watch the way Kobe plays, he patterned his whole game after Michael. Mm -hmm. Like, it's the way he moved, his body moved. You could tell, like, he studied Michael Jordan. He even, Jordan. like, stuck out his tongue before. Yeah. Like, he's, like, you know, stuck out the tongue. The way he shot, the, the way he walked back up the court. Yeah. Like, you tell he studied that Jordan. he idolized yeah. that's Jordan. That's the guy he, that's the guy he studied, you could tell. That he emulated most. That's mm -hmm. why, um, whenever they had, like, those lists about, you know, put the bear team or whatever, and I'm like, um... I'm um, like Jordan and Kobe are pretty much mirrors, so mm -hmm. they're you see mirror that a images. Lot. They would have like the, the, the greatest mirrors. Bulls of all time versus the greatest Lakers of all time, right? So Kobe and Jordan kind of cancel right, each other out. Mirrors, and they yeah. just start going through the other position. Exactly. Because you see those a lot. People because like you don't that. really look like they both are mirror images, kind of mm -hmm. each other. Like the way that they shoot the fade away, the way that they, like you said, that their mannerisms were like very similar. The the killer instinct about. Just like, I'm going to go out and get this bucket. I'm going to go out. I have the will to win. Like, they both mm -hmm. had that will to win where they would go out and do anything to get a bucket. Mm -hmm. Put your team on your back. I got you. I got my team that on my back. That killer is that eye of the tiger. Exactly. Yeah, that, yeah. And mm -hmm. you need that type of player on your team if you're mm -hmm. going to be a championship team, if you're going to be successful. Not even think about this. One of um, my people posted this about um, his wife, Vanessa, which you don't even think about these things when you start, because um, this happened so sudden. It's like Vanessa has been with Kobe since she was a teenager. Kobe is all she knows. Like, so basically that's, Her she, she got to be just shook. Yeah. Cause she's been with him since she was 17. Yeah. yeah. And who knows like her, like Kobe might be the only man she's ever been with. So like, she's got to be fucked up, man. Hmm. It's like, you don't even think about those kind of things. Like, this is the only man you know, and, like, now he's just gone. That's crazy. Like, I'd rather she just had another baby. I'm just mm. like, because anyway, with having children, it's like you may go through postpartum, because postpartum depression is very real. It mm -hmm. is. So I just hope that whoever her support system, I hope that she is going to get good support around her. I hope that people do really don't just do the, if you need anything, call me. I hope people are actually meaning that actually being there yeah. with her and actually helping her through. Cause I can't even imagine that. Mm -hmm. And just like when you think about like the fun stuff that, you know, like the, some of the last images that we saw Kobe when um, the Eagles won the Super Bowl and then Kobe was cussing and he woke up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause um yeah, Kobe's a Philadelphia guy. He like he was born and been born and born and raised like the Fresh Prince. Yeah, <laughs> like, I don't West know if it was, I don't know if it was West Philadelphia, raised. but Kobe's definitely Philadelphia born and raised. <laughs> Cause that was just so funny. Because like you would see the image he posted, and then he's like, ah, "Fuck yeah!" He was like that, mm. <laughs> and she's like, "Babe, language!" <laughs> Cause he's like, mm. "Cause the kids right there." Mm. But he was just super excited. And I get that. Like, when guys get excited about sports, it doesn't matter when children are in the room. They they may swear and, you know, you may hear a couple of F-bombs, but it's okay. Just let the kids know, like, hey, don't repeat it back. Don't repeat it back. Remember Kobe went to the prom with Brandy. You remember that? I forgot yeah, I about that. that. Somebody just posted that pic. Yeah. That was her. So, I mean... That was her prom date. Yeah. He was on episode Moesha during that time because uh, he was probably playing. after that. They put yeah, he played a ball player yeah. and uh, 
he was supposed to uh, a loosely based version of himself. Yeah, he uh, asked uh, Moesha to like take the SAT for him or whatever, mm. and then she said, "Of course, Moesha, her." You know, Moesha was Miss Moral. And she was like, no, I'm not going to take it. And then when he took it, he did so well on the test that people thought they that thought she, she did, did take it. But he really did. But then he really, he really did. did it himself. And yeah. he really had to go out there and prove that he didn't. Mm. So he had to take the test, you know, in the uh, gymnasium. I don't remember that episode. Yeah, in the gymnasium. <laughs> he had to sit around. Everybody was sitting in the gymnasium while he sat in the middle and he took the test to show that I didn't. You know, he might fail then with that pressure. With and that's what, watching it. right? And that's what he was like. He was like, "But what if I do bad?" Because he kept on saying that. He's like, "I for can't do this for, for all people. these people. I can't do that." At and least, then, like, why did it have to be a whole run? Like, I'm sure they yeah. have probably had Hakeem and Nisi and Kim <laughs> in there. Why they have to be in the? Why not just the principal and like whoever is? Yeah, just whatever, have yeah. like. <laughs> Why you, like at least in back to school when Rodney did it? Like he just had his his professors, <laughs> yeah. School. You didn't have like the whole fucking swim team there. Like they were there when he did the triple Lindy, but they weren't there. Like Zabka wasn't oh there when gosh. he took his test and shit. No, I gotta watch that. I gotta go back and watch that. <laughs> Remember, he was a cocky blonde. Who was where, in, where in every 80s play? movie? Where else would he play but a cocky blonde? Shout out Johnny Lawrence from the, 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 cocky from, blonde from the Karate movie. Kid to Cobra Kai. Let's go, man. <laughs> who are you to doubt the you fucking see, Cobra Kai? You see, we get all over the place, but Absolutely. that was one of the. And then when Kobe had his uh, rap career, he did that. Yeah, he had a song. Him and Tyra Banks did a song together. And then he rapped on Brian McKnight's um, uh, Hold Me, the remix. Produced by, um, I think, um, Cool and Dre, I think, produced Mm -hmm. that. I want to say they did. I think that's where... uh, Or was it the Trackmaster? This is one of them. Was it the Trackmaster or Cool and Dre? That's how he met his wife because uh, she was a model, um, an extra on one of those video sets or whatever. Right. And Vanessa's not ugly. You're probably like, who is that? That's how he met her. He met her Mm -hmm. on the video set and Mm -hmm. they were saying that it was even so bad because it's like, because he was Kobe, you know, because she was still in high school when they started dating. She was only 17. 17, So she was a senior and they said that it caused a ruckus because him coming to pick her up from school, of course, that would cause a ruckus. Be a famous Laker. So they said that she had to finish her semester at home. She had to like be homeschooled, homeschooled after because that because it was just it caused chaos every time he mm-hmm. came to pick her up or see her at school. Mm-hmm. Everybody would just oh, come here, and just all over the place. And CC post Sierra posted about uh, mm-hmm. this news is heartbreaking. I'm at a loss for words. Praying for Vanessa and the Bryant family during this sad and difficult time. Yeah, so everybody's it's Kobe. Their it's like you know, it's mm. and I feel like Kobe. Um, in his later years, I feel like he did um, really. Like I mean, I know a lot of people like maybe like had their differences and then like in my earlier career, but as he got older and stuff, I mean, I feel like it shifted. That people, the evolution is like that. Really at least with me, to, as far as yeah. players, is like um, when they first come in, I usually don't have an opinion because like, let me see what you got. Let me see what you got, right? And then like when they start get to like like around the prime, that's when Pete the Dick Riding starts yeah, happening. You, I typically you don't your, like him. Yeah, like, you make mm. your uh, decision about. Yeah, it's like um. Like LeBron, I went through that like when he took his talent, so I didn't really like him then. Yeah. And Kobe, like during the the three P with Shaq Kobe era, I, I wasn't a big Kobe guy during that. Yeah, time. I remember that. Yeah. Now I was more of a Kobe fan during the the Pau Gasol years, like because like he you know, Kobe won two more. We didn't mention that earlier. Yeah. Kobe's a five time champion. Because he said, "I don't forget." Yeah, we did mention. That. <laughs> yeah, we did mention. It's a lot. Yeah. I don't forget. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he won two more. That was the. Paul Gasol, Lamar yeah. Odom team, like he won with mm-hmm. during that era. They won a couple more. Andrew Bynum. Bynum. Yeah, that was during well. that era. Lakers. <laughs> Bynum was a starting champion. I got there, but he was a contributor. Yeah, but by the time he, yeah. But he's a two time champion. Mm. Say what you a want about champion Bynum. Starting champion yeah, for two-time, NBA. Yeah, two time starting, starting center. Lakers posted it on their page. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so. So, like I said, the evolution of Kobe, like how he grew into things and matured. And I was just so, I was really happy when he got his Oscar. I was so happy. I was rooting year. for him, watching yeah, that. And then when they so announced happy. his name, I, like, yeah. I jumped out of my seat. And then he shot, took a shot at Laura Ingram, <laughs> who saying, yeah, we saying we should just uh, shut up and dribble. Yeah, dribble. but <laughs> here. Now what? Now what? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, he just said that. <laughs> Kobe should have mic dropped. He didn't even have a mic, but he should have dropped the mic. Dropped, dropped an imaginary mic. Kick over the mic. Stand. Yeah. Kick the kick mic, over the mic yeah. Kick it over. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm happy that he did win his Oscar. And mm. did I watch the film? I think I did. 
I watched it. I think I did watch it. Like right um, after you won. I think I watched it that same night. I think I did too. It's I just can't great. remember. It's an right animated now. short. It's like shows Kobe's basketball career. A lot of stuff mm-hmm. we mentioned now. It shows that he went through. From young everything. Kobe with the number eight in the fro to like old Kobe in the 24. Like, yeah. Yeah. We, yeah it showed the evolution. Mm-hmm. It showed the injury he had. Like, what, what, how his career ended. Yeah. Which is like, which was like, I, I hated the way Kobe's career ended like that. Mm-hmm. Even though that last night was epic, he took sixty points, sixty or something like points, that. Yeah, and, his, so. and he did. Oh, and it was like, who else would go out like this, but Kobe? Mm-hmm. In a in a in a throwaway game, this is your uh, farewell tour. You're one of the greatest of all times. You don't have anything else to prove to anyone else. Mm-hmm. But in Kobe fashion, mm-hmm. true to form, he shoots everything and he scores sixty points. Mm. And I would not have seen him going out any other way except to do that. Yep. Shoot it like it's Kobe. Mm. Get your sixty points, and he got his sixty points. And so I was like, "That's the Kobe I know." Because like mm-hmm. the last couple of years was rough watching Kobe. Yeah. Like Kobe was um he wasn't himself. Like after that mm-hmm. Achilles injury, he was never Achilles the same injuries place. are tough. And then that's the fact why that he we was, go keeping. That's why we're gonna see what happens when KD comes he back was after this. Thirty four. He was Something like, like he that. was like that 34, 35. Yeah, I heard inch. during that, that whack ass Lakers season with Dwight Howard and Steve Nash. Remember that awful yeah. season? Like he got hurt Steve during that awful. season. And after that, it was just done. Mm-hmm. Then they after that they rebuilt the team. They brought in all the young guys like Lonzo and Julius Randle and mm-hmm. Ingram. They started, yeah, they went a rebuild mode, but Kobe was still there with all those guys. Right. So it was like Kobe Bryant and then a and bunch of rookies. Kids, it's like yeah, with children. Randall and Ingram right. and Lonzo and like yeah. mm-hmm. and then Kobe is just like one of these things is not like the other. So mm-hmm. like that era was weird. And for some reason, they signed Lou Alding, like who was a corpse by then. But for some reason, they decided to sign his old ass. <laughs> the Lakers were just, a, that was a weird time for the Lakers. <laughs> he was old. <laughs> and Ding is still getting checks for the Lakers, by the way. It's like, he's not even in the league Why anymore. Why did I sign up to do this? That's, that's my question. I made had, some bad choices. Because they had to wave life. him in there, like, but they still paying him his salary. So Ding is going to be getting checks till about 2022 from the Lakers or something like that. <laughs> he's not even playing anymore. He's still getting a check from them. Pay me to go away. Okay. You, you can pay me to go away. I'll mm-hmm. go away. Pay me. Mm-hmm. But yeah, just oh my gosh, like it is like I'm trying to think about like the happy memories and just think about yeah the fun stuff because in the matter of which would happen a crash, it's like yeah, it's just awful. Reminds me of Aaliyah all over again back when I yeah, heard that. yeah yeah because mm-hmm. like nobody we couldn't believe that yeah mm-hmm. and that was on 26 too. Mm-hmm. 2001 yeah Mm -hmm. but um it is just it makes you just really just think about like your life and just you know why anything for granted why those moments are so your life now yeah and why those moments are so important like hugging and kissing your family before they leave out sending Mm -hmm. that text that i love you text Mm -hmm. and that i'll you know the, you know, just stuff like that that you just take for granted. Like, oh, you, you think know, somebody's going to be here forever. I want to see you again. Mm-hmm. I want to see you again. And it's like, and you don't see mm-hmm. your person again, your loved one. So let's just do better at being Vanessa kinder. Gotta be shook, yeah, kinder yeah. to each other. Let's do better at. Can I even think? I didn't even think about that aspect of like, there's the only man she knows because they were so young when they started dating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's. it's mm. I can't even imagine what that girl is going through. Yeah. And please just respect her privacy, people. Please. Yeah, leave her like, just much like Lauren London last year, the same thing, just like, back off. Mm-hmm. At least Kodak Black is in jail, so he can't say nothing stupid this time. <laughs> I had to say something funny. <laughs> yeah, he's locked up, so you ain't got to worry about him getting in on this and shit. Yeah, but just leave her alone. You know, just let her be, you know. Don't be all up in her face. Don't try to get like paparazzi. Please stay out. Mm-hmm. Don't take the pictures. Don't be there. Don't try to get your shot and everything. Yeah, because remember with Lauren London, they showed her arriving at the hospital. Hope that um they sneak Vanessa and they sneak secret entrance or something like yeah. that. Like, mm-hmm. so I don't need like a camera all in her face. Like, mm-hmm. hey, what what did I? What do you expect her to say? Like, what do you have to say? What do you expect me to say about that? Shit? And just use 
just use your own discretion. Use your own mind to think about stuff. Like, if this was your loved one, would you want somebody taking the video? Because like the Lauren London one, that was somebody that was actually in the hospital because they happened to be there for another thing. And then when they looked, they was like, oh, shit, it's Lauren London. And they pulled out their phone and they started recording. It was like right after Nip had died, maybe an hour or two. It was like right after he died. Yeah, literally. because like she ran in and she was like... um, my husband's in there because like mm-hmm. Lauren said that you guys have my husband and mm-hmm. like they let her in mm-hmm. and they was like oh shit it's Lauren London and they took out their phone and they was like recording because like she had no clue mm-hmm. or whatever but it's like just use your very sense of judgment like if you were there to see your loved one would you want someone to take a sneak video like we always say like everybody can be their own paparazzi now because yeah it sucks now as far you know, as we back have, the, it was back in the day we had iPhone 11s and Samsung yeah, but they portrayed that in whatever, the um, yeah. the Jackson's American Dream when Michael lit his hair on fire I remember the scene and uh-huh. they had Joseph told the reporters uh, cuz you know they were in his face about yeah so what do you have to he's like like that's my son what do you think I got what do you like Joe went off right? on the guy yeah he's like it's my son what do you man. want me to say idiot yeah. right <laughs> like dumbass want to comment and shit yeah. right. son just almost died but, people just yeah. want the scoop that's why people mm-hmm. want the scoop they mm-hmm. want to get the the juice they want to get the first to report the first I think he report. does it's like do you have children yes like hey, it was your son how would, how how would, would you, you feel, feel? It's like, exactly hey. yeah <laughs> like it's one thing if you're trying to report to get like the the honest truth and trying that's one thing but i mean if you're just doing it just trying to be you you know the difference between like you're trying mm-hmm. to be gossipy. You're trying to, ooh, I'm trying to get the pictures. I'm trying, mm-hmm. you know, you're doing it in a gossipy way. You know the difference between the two. Chloe Kardashian had the exact response I had. Please don't let this be true. I'm shaking. Like, that's, that's what mm-hmm. I said when I first saw it. I was literally shaking. Yeah. Like, my hands trembling, like, I was, when I was scrolling through that story on TMZ. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, my face just went, just blank. Because like, I showed you right after. Yeah, my face just went blank afterwards, because... Mm-hmm. I mean, he touched so many fans. He had so many fans out there. I mean, mm-hmm. it's Kobe, you know. It's. I mean, the levels of like our basketball for our lifetime. We had Jordan. We had Kobe. Kobe we had LeBron. LeBron. That's like the that's like, all back to back to back. That's the trifecta that First we had. First came Jordan, then came Kobe, and now People, it's LeBron. our age group. Yeah, that's what we saw. The greats that we saw in each generation. Mm-hmm. And those are the greatest player of each generation mm-hmm. that we saw. Coming mm-hmm. through the ranks of the NBA. So. It's like nineties was Michael, Kobe was two thousand, LeBron was the twenty teens. Like, yeah, I would say that was the decades they dominated. I would right. say mm-hmm. we don't know what the twenty twenties are even that started, started yeah. but we'll mm-hmm. see who who's up like next. Zion looked good his rookie his first game, so we'll see mm-hmm. what um what he got in store. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine what Laker Nation is going through because mm-hmm. yeah. Is. I wonder what else they can do because they already retired both of his numbers. They got one. Well, they gonna have. Does Kobe have a statue yet? I imagine they could do something like that. They could probably do a statue. Or I don't know they, if he has one yet. Could they do like a wing for him or something? Mm-hmm. Like name like name some something. Kind of yeah, the Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bean Bryant wing mm-hmm. or something. Do a wing, yeah. Mm. Kind of um. I know Magic has a statue. I don't know if Kobe has one. Um, yet. I've never been in Staples Center, so I don't know. But that's a good. That's a start. If he doesn't have a statue, definitely he needs mm-hmm. one. And then they were saying that this year would have been the first year for his eligibility for um, Hall of Fame. This would have been his first year. For he needs to go in right now. And they're, like, <laughs> they're like, obviously no now. They're brainer, like, they're yeah. like, he's going to go in posthumously now. Obviously yeah. now, but. They was like, this even before been- he would have went in, but like that's gonna suck. We're not gonna even get to hear Kobe's speech, man. I would have loved to heard a call of Hall of Fame speech from Kobe. Yeah. We're never gonna hear it now, because like, mm-hmm. like I'm into the uh, Hall of Fame. I, I'm into that. Like I remember Jordan's speech. And I remember Pippen's speech. Meme came from uh, the yeah, crying mm-hmm. Jordan. Crying Jordan meme was from his Hall of Fame. Rodman's speech was dope. Like I remember mm-hmm. all these Hall of Fame, these legendary Hall of Fame speech. I would have loved to have heard Kobe's, yeah. but we'll never hear it. Now. It makes you sad all over again. Yeah. Like, that you're never gonna That he's gonna go in, but we're not gonna get to hear him his words like about mm-hmm. reflecting on his career. Mm-hmm. Who would be a good person to talk like a Phil or something? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know. Mm. Phil, I would say, maybe. Mm. Who could reflect on Kobe's career? I don't even know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Because I mean, like, would we want his wife to do it or no? Yeah, would she be, uh, would she be able that's to down do the line? Like, maybe by then she'd be stronger. Like Lauren spoke, like it was some months later when she finally spoke mm-hmm. after Nip. Yeah, that was like a while later. That was the BET Awards, I want to say. Mm-hmm. So it was like some months had passed by then. Because, mm-hmm. you know, when it just happens, it's like, like if it was now, I wouldn't even think about asking Vanessa to speak. Mm-hmm. But I think Hall of Fame, they're like around the summertime, so who knows? Yeah. Mm. <sighs> but uh, you, you just wrap this up because yeah. yeah I'm I'm out of shit to say. <laughs> right. Like once we like but once we say again this was going to be an episode to reflect on Mr. Kobe B. Bryant. Yeah, and I knew that we weren't gonna talk about any of that other stuff. Forty one years old, passed away in helicopter, helicopter crash, crash rest in, in peace. Masses. It's one of the top five greatest of all time is official on my list. Kobe is number four. He's top five. Yeah. But that's not another damn podcast. Episode 139, right? Yes. R.I.P. Kobe Bryant. That's what we're going to call it. Yeah. So you can um, reach out to us. Like our Facebook fan page for not another damn podcast. Mm-hmm. Also subscribe, share, share, rate, review on all the platforms. You got Apple Podcasts, Spotify, TuneIn, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, TLC Talk Radio. What's good, Tasha? Hey, Tasha. We also got um your Alexa devices. Just say, hey, Alexa, play not another damn podcast. Also on YouTube, audio only, video coming soon, meaning eventually we really are going to get that video. Though. Yes. We had a whole meeting about that last week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you can follow me at Ozman the Wizard on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Oz Radio on Snapchat and Facebook as well. Also, um, OzRadio.net, work in progress, just like the YouTube page. You can hear your current hits. And if you want the classics from the 90s and the 2K classics, hit up OzRadio.net, the bomb. I'll send you the link. And you can check me out, M-S-I-M-A-H-626 on Instagram and on Twitter. Also, S-T-R-A-G-U-L-L-E-Y-1 on Twitter, S-T-R-A-G-U-L-L-E-Y-7 on Instagram. Also, please like the Straight Gully Facebook fan page. Check out straightgully.com for your blogs and your vlogs. And for your video productions needs, check out straightgullyproductions.com. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant again. Black Mamba. I'm Ozman the Wizard. And Naima. And we will talk to you later. Bye. I'm gone.